the world of YouTube Hachi here. As a matter of fact, the change in name due to some tips I got from, I should say, mentor. I'm going to start calling my channel now World of You, uh, no, World of Terrible Sight. Um, due to some advice I got. Also, I like to mention that uh, I'm trying my sideways view of the camera because I know before I was doing this, hopefully I get it right, but I was told to swap down the you know, sideways of the camera so nobody's watching a porthole squared stick figure thing <laughs> like you see on your TVs when you movie is stupid and it's got them small lines and it shortens the screen on a big screen TV. But like I say, I did that before and everybody was saying my video was sideways. But I'm starting to get the hang of some things. But of course we're back on the case of the <clears throat> Delphi murders. Of course the two young girls that were murdered on the trail, railroad tracks, out there in Indianapolis, Indiana, Indianapolis, Missouri, what the hell was that? But, um, in Delphi was its town. Now, I did get some comments. Uh, like, I'm going to try other things on my videos, like putting an intro in or something. I mean, I've been trying to do this and I figured out some things I can do on my do recorder, but I still gotta get the hang of things. Like when my friggin' camera stops and I get, you know, cause my phone screws up, I know how to merge videos now. I did do a title on one of my videos starting off of my Henry Bedard case. Of course, my phone stopped that day and I had to merge the videos together. But, um, slowly but surely, I'm gonna work something out to make my videos better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been seeing stuff on videos that I wish I could do, but it's like tough to do. Hell, even maybe put in pictures and stuff. See what I get out of that. But it's tough to do because when you're working on a freaking phone, uh, yeah. So today we're going to be looking at the, someone emailed me actually last night and I got about this piece of crap you see on the left. But I am immediately ruling out that that, that is the bridge man guy, BG bridge guy. Because I can see very, 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 you know, as soon as, as soon as I got into this picture, the stockiness of the man on the bridge and how very small, once again, the body of, um, oh, what the hell is his name, Thomas. I mean, I don't want to say his full name anyways. This guy is one sick individual. But I'm going to tell you something. I came across something similar to this man. And I can almost tell you. And I can almost be rightfully right when I say. This man being um, a so-called maybe Christian. But he did go after some Christian people in a Christian store I believe. And, um, Jesus Christ, the damn things this guy did. Kind, it reminded me of, once again, I did not know this person personally. But I did a clean out, which I think this person had a, had a, um, foreclosure on a house. And this guy, I, I, Think and I hope I still got it. 
because I was going to erase the name on it, but, show, oh man, I don't even know if I still got it, but I'm, I hope I do, it's a business card, and I'll tell you right now, this guy was a pastor, priest, pastor, he was all into the church, and when I read about this man right here, this other guy immediately rushed in my head. And just because what this man did, and he has a son and a wife. But I think I want to say he was, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think he is a Christian though. But he went to a Christian store, got into, you know, scoped it out, grabbed a gun, literally walked four women, I believe, maybe five women into I guess the back room and had these women do sexual things with each other. One of them refused to do it and he shot her in the head. Now they do say that similarities from the case of the two girls and this guy, you know, because of the fact, and also they did not mention the brutality of the girls. Once again, it mentions, mentions what happened to the girls but it don't specifically say. But what this guy did, they say, resembled what happened to the girls. So if that was rightfully what this man on the bridge did, cut the girls down at gunpoint, because this guy had a gun too, um, to do sexual acts and, and <laughs> go figure. Some things that I said, this man over here too, this piece of shit. Saying he's about 5'10", 5'6", 5'10". This guy right here, right? And um, he had no criminal record, no... Nothing that the police would see. Anything that would lead to him being some kind of sick, demented killer. But for what he did, right, to these women. And even shot one point-blank range in the head. You know... But I said that this guy, right, the killer, had to have been a very bored. Had to have been getting, you know, tired of his life. All right? I said this about the killer the other day in a video. Someone did mention that I said it too. That I was spot right on this guy about the killer at that of what, you know why he was doing what he did because coming from a small town and supposedly this guy over here had a brother or something a family member that would lead him to go to this town with these two girls but it's still a four hour drive and the question would be is why would this guy drive four hours to find two girls and kill them unless he was stalking them just like he went into this store and got these women to try and do sexual acts on each other. Sick stuff. And who knows how long he was scoping the place out. You know, just because there's no criminal record on somebody, that's right. You don't know if their life is that bad. And come to find out, sure and shit, this bald-headed piece of shit lost his house in April. He knew he was on the verge of being on the breakdown of... Losing everything. And that supposedly would have been the motive. That he lost his mind. Wanted to do something crazy. But. But. As much as I want to say this would have been the guy. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because of the simple fact. Is the guy on the right. Is very bulky. This little twerp on the left. He is very, he does not have, once again, the broad shoulders that I speak of, like that man on the right. And like I said, they said that he did fit the description because he's 5'6", five, 5'10". Five, and I said, this guy looks about 5'11". So I was almost close on that. I was close on that. So that being said... But once again, like I say, the bulkiness is missing from this man on the left. It's all about the bulkiness. 
And it looks like the guy on the right to me has a little gut. If you look clearly at that man on the on the left, he's he is thin. And I mean there are pictures of him right here. Very thin. Even his face is thin. That guy on the right looked fat. But they said he could have lost weight too. But but I don't know. Because the shoulders, I tell you, don't match up. And once again, this is how I look at it. You can clearly see it too. Right here, his shoulders go down. This guy's is rounded off at the top. Right there, and you can see the left. Thomas's shoulders go down and like straight out. The guy on the right, his round off and go straight down. So it's not like a point on, what's his name, shoulders, yeah, it's Thomas's shoulders. You can clearly see that his clearly point out and like go straight up top and that other guy is rounded down. So once again, I mean, don't get me wrong, this bastard's in jail and I hope he stays there. Because he is, um, of course, pleading his innocence, but... As you can clearly see that this man here, Thomas, does not have the bulk as the man in the right. So, I mean, that's what I look at it, and Don't get me wrong, the face there, so... The face does kind of look something similar. So does in the gold T. But as you can see, that guy on the right... His face is more longer. But then again, I got an email or a text or a comment from someone saying that that friggin' sketch right here was fake. Someone did say something like that. And I didn't read that yet to confirm that. But I do believe that, hey, I, I'm not saying that this person is wrong either. But to see it in the comments or updates in this article I read was updated in 2018 about Thomas here so I mean it didn't say nothing about the first one being fake or the guy had that who witnessed it was some kind of storyteller but that wasn't even confirmed either he gave an identification and it was never confirmed but I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some slim similarities, but right now I can also see, and if it ain't fake, what is different, come on, you jerk, is as you can see the V right there, bottom lip, this guy has none. See that distinctive indent of a V sticking up to the bottom lip. Which that guy has none. And, and that means the V-shaped lip. Also the lip goes up and forms the frown. And the guy on the right has none. And I'm not even going to match that up with the other guy. With the young face. Because they definitely are not the same. So I mean that being said. And he ain't got the, um, the nose of the guy on the right either nor the eyebrows and once again once again that bridge in the nose like right here that bridge is his if this is a real sketch this guy's is come on jerk the guy on the um, right his bridge looks like it flats and it slopes in the nose this guy's nose is completely straight with the full boom so that's my determination that this guy is not him. I mean, whatever the case may be, you know, I highly see this guy not being the murderer, if this is a true, hang on a sec, I'll be back. So, back once again to talk about this man here, and do I believe he's the killer? I do not believe he is, because of course all the, um, you know, all the uh, describing that I did in the photos, 
and you can see clearly that stuff does not match up with the friggin photo I mean right here and um, like I said the shoulders the base the head even the head looks even smaller than the head on to the right all in all man where's the DNA if there was something that was brutally happened to these girls and they were saying that this guy had and his killings had similarities then there should have been some DNA left behind somewhere or something or but <clears throat> as I can see here clearly this ain't the guy he's too tiny he is another peewee <laughs> but don't get me wrong I've, oh shoot I forgot the friggin fucking 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 phone man but don't get me wrong, I highly believe that this guy on the right has some issues. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he'll get caught one day, but only time will tell. I'm sure he'll slip if he's still alive. And by looking at that photo, man, yeah, he looks like one desperate man that just can't get a woman. That's what it definitely looks like to me. And what better way to go after women and be superior? Sucks to say, but I think that's that base of that man's mind. Other than that, world of YouTube, be safe, take care, always beware of your surroundings. And I hope they catch this piece of shit. And I hope the other one gets ex executed too. Because it didn't don't give right to fuck what he did either, man. I was sick reading his story. I really didn't want to go through it all, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sick individuals, man. These are the people that make me, though. These are the people I'd like to bust right up. I'd love to give them the torture that they gave to people. Yeah, that's right. Leave them for dead. But... Will I ever get that permission? Hmm. If anybody wants to give me a job, that's a job I like to have. Yes. But be safe, take care, everybody. I want to thank everybody commenting. I want to thank everybody that subscribed. The people that emailed me, thanks again. I'm trying new things. I will try. I'm always trying something. Like I said, I was trying to get into doing stuff like this, but it's tough on the phone. But now that I'm starting to, you know, move on and... So I get some things out there, man. It's, I got to try something, but... Hey, I noticed that I got into this case. It started blowing up again. So I'm doing something right in the mix. But it's just getting that right person, right crowd. And, like I said to the um, person who emailed me, you know, YouTube expects you to pay. You know, you got to pay for your shit to get on top. And to me, that sucks. Because I should have already had that happen. But... Thanks to Logan Paul once again. Why don't you lend me some money, huh? How about give me some money to stop my channel? <laughs> because I'm not going to be like no low-life piece of shit and go disrespect countries and do things that are just completely dumb. This channel here is about bringing out the best and bringing out, I don't know what, the truth, thoughts, theories, and ideas trying to solve something and that's what needs to be done in this world you know I'm getting sick of watching people make dumb friggin videos and it blows up all over the internet how about something with a seriousness to it getting to the bottom of stories that need to be solved I think that's the case I don't know till the next video hopefully something breaks I'm starting to lose my mind. Woohoo! Out.